Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Do you own a 2021 Tesla Model Y and miss that engine startup sound from your old gas-powered vehicle? Today, I'll be showing you what I did to bring that sound back. So what is Boombox? This was a feature added as an over-the-air software update in December of 2020 that lets your car make different sounds when you activate the horn, while driving, or when using Summon. Boombox is accessible from the toy box in your vehicle. If you watched my earlier video on why I left BMW for Tesla, you remember that I used to have a BMW 340i before I purchased my Model Y. Before returning the BMW at the end of my lease, I made a quick video of the engine startup sound, knowing that one day I might want to bring that sound to my Model Y using the Boombox feature. To use Boombox, you'll need a USB flash drive or hard drive with a Boombox folder. If you took delivery of your Model Y in 2021, you might find that Tesla already provided you with a flash drive in the glove box for your dash cam and sentry mode. The flash drive looks like this, and it has a capacity of 128 gigabytes. Also, in small letters on the back, mine says that it is not covered under the vehicle's warranty, so keep this in mind if you decide to proceed. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up Boombox on the flash drive that came with my car using a Windows-based PC. First, before you remove the flash drive from your car, you'll need to press and hold the little camera icon until it briefly flashes and no longer shows a red dot on the icon. This tells you that the car is no longer recording onto the flash drive, and you can safely remove it. When you insert the Tesla flash drive into your computer, you'll see a single folder on the drive called TeslaCam. Before doing anything else, make sure you make a copy of this folder on your desktop or another safe place on your computer because we will be completely erasing this drive to set up Boombox. If you don't do this, you will lose all your dash cam and sentry mode videos. Next, open up Disk Management by searching for it using the Start menu. Here you'll see all the drives connected to your computer, including the flash drive, which is called Tesla Drive in this case. Next, right-click the Tesla Drive partition and select Delete Volume. Remember, make sure you make a copy of the files on this drive before moving forward with this step, because this will delete everything off the drive. Once that's done, the flash drive becomes unallocated space. Go ahead and right-click that space and select New Simple Volume, and the New Simple Volume wizard opens. Click Next and specify the size of the partition you want to create. In this case, I want to recreate the Tesla cam partition while leaving space for a boombox. So here, I'm specifying a partition size of 117,000 megabytes, leaving about 5 gigabytes for the boombox partition I'll be creating later. Click Next and format this volume using XFAT, the default allocation unit size, and type Tesla drive for a volume label. You can also select Perform a Quick Format if you want this to go a little faster, but in my case, I did not do that and it actually took 30 to 40 minutes to completely wipe the drive. Click Next, Finish, and wait for the drive to format. When you're done, you'll see a new Tesla Drive partition in Disk Management, along with the unallocated space we'll be using for Boombox. To create the Boombox partition, right-click on the unallocated space on the flash drive, select New Simple Volume, and click Next. Here you can go ahead and enter the maximum available disk space, which in my case is 5374, since we won't be creating any other partitions. Click Next, select FAT32 for file system and default for allocation unit size, and type Boombox for volume label. Click Next and your Boombox partition is created. Now, exit out of disk management, Open up the Tesla Drive partition in Windows Explorer and move the Tesla Cam folder you backed up earlier back onto this drive. Then open up the Boombox partition in Windows Explorer. Here you'll need to create a new folder called Boombox. Make sure you capitalize the first letter in Boombox only, leaving all the other letters lowercase. Now open up this folder you just created and drag and drop the audio files you want to use for Boombox. In my case, this is where I put the audio recording of my engine sound. When you're done, go ahead and eject the flash drive from your computer and insert it back in your Tesla. After inserting the flash drive back in your car, make sure you resume the dash cam recording by pressing and holding the little camera icon until it briefly flashes and shows a red dot on the icon. 
So what does it sound like? Well, you definitely lose some clarity and bass from the exhaust because the external speaker on the Model Y isn't that great, but it is something you can surprise your friends with because it isn't a sound you'd normally expect from a Tesla. For reference, here's a clip of the original audio when I recorded it off the BMW. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the boombox feature. Thanks for watching! If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Bri the Tesla Guy.